And these anti-ICE protesters have been blocking a San Francisco street for days. We asked police any plans to step in and stop them. And good evening to you. I'm Juliet Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. Our Katie Nielsen is near Washington and Battery, where the protesters blocking the streets tried to block our cameras as well. The same First Amendment rights that you have to be here gives us the right to report. Do not. Occupy protesters blocked our cameras as we stood on the sidewalk along Washington Street during today's rally in front of the ICE building. What we're asking for is the complete abolishment of ICE. We're blocking off the street so that we can publicly demonstrate and bring support to our cause. It comes on the heels of comments from the Trump administration. And we're going to protect ICE. We protect ICE. Well, I stand before you today at a time when some people are actually calling for the abolition of ICE. Protesters say they were spurred into action because of stories of separated families and what they say are excessively long immigration detentions. People can't be quiet. Um, we need to make our voices heard and show that, um, that it's not normal and um, it's not acceptable. Group Refuse Fascism also held a rally today and marched to join the Occupy protesters in the Washington Street takeover. SFPD did not respond to our repeated requests for comments on if they will move to reopen the street, but issued this statement on Thursday saying, We are monitoring the situation for the safety of the public, protesters, and workers in the area. We reached out to the mayor's office earlier today for comment, but never heard back. We also reached out to mayor-elect London Breed, but she declined to comment at this time. Multiple sources within the city have told KPIX5 police could break up this protest sometime tomorrow. In San Francisco, Katie Nielsen, KPIX5.